instrument called the Center Bridge Guitar with uh, Max Patch and basically it's a collection of samples that are supposed to sort of uh, be reminiscent of like household items, electricity, wood, metal, just simple objects. studies at uh, UC Irvine in the Integrated Composition, Improvisation, and Technology program. Kind of a long title. But my focus is on um, what I'm calling collaborative performance. And what I've developed here is a, uh, an iPhone app that is a, based off of an ORF instrument, like a kinder music instrument. And what it does is it's specifically designed to look for a network connection, which I have set up here, so that people can come and uh, essentially participate in a live performance arbitrarily, come and go. So I'm actually just assisting Chris. Uh, it's Chris's piece mostly. He's developed a iPhone application um, where audience members can jam along with what he does. So I'm actually just here to kind of play along with him on his stick, but also with whoever randomly comes up, downloads the application, and then starts playing. Most of my audio will actually come from other audio. Mostly what I'm interested in is long, deep tones, things that I can extrapolate and loop and, and develop very, very low intense uh, tones out of. instrument, uh, the Sauron, which is an instrument from Java. Um, it, it, it takes impulses from this and it goes into the computer uh, and it acts as a, as a user interface for working with video and also this is traditional music from Indonesia so it's kind of melding technology with, with tradition in a way, traditional music. So. Well, 
Jason and I kind of put the show together. Uh, we started talking with the Culver Center a few months ago. Uh, we applied for the grant uh, at the end of the summer, and uh, we talked about doing an interactive kind of atmosphere where people could come in and enjoy um, the products of some of these young composers' um, work and experience things hands-on so they can physically pick up things and touch them and not be afraid of the technology. Here I'm doing a little interactive display with Ableton software and some of the gadgets that I have. And then later on, Alma Fernandez is going to play a piece I wrote uh, that uses uh, some cut poetry of a recording of Sylvia Plath reading Lady Lazarus. So those are my main involvements. I created this installation called The Harvester, which is based on a piece of software called Mimi, which stands for Multimodal Interaction for Musical Improvisation, which is designed by uh, Alex Francois. And this installation um, basically takes information from the sound in the environment, and also you can perform with it um, on any sort of acoustic instrument and it'll recombine different parts of it and basically improvise with the material that you've played, which is now playing back through these speakers and also being played back by these little robots here. I'm playing um, guitar, just, I, some improvisations through some effects of mine. It's, it's, the, it's the most diverse genre there's so many different kinds of things, so many different things happening, um, that uh, the more diversity we have, the better it gets. Um, you know, I've always... I've always liked the idea of a guitar, but it was never practical enough because you could only play with one hand and like the other hand is just like expressive, but I, it just didn't like do enough for me. Um, and they're too expensive. So uh, so I've always played guitar and bass. So I figured I, I put these buttons on the side so I could play them like a guitar, so I could play chords or bass lines. And with my other hand, I could play the keyboard. And then I put a drum sequencer and a regular sequencer in there so I could play along to something. So I could do kind of like a four piece band almost with it, so it's pretty fun. Um, well, the, the chance for people to really interact in an immediate and visceral way with the kind of materials that we work with as artists, the, the opportunity for people to really interact and feel what it is like to, to generate some of the kinds of music that we, that we create. Um, when we do a chamber music piece with electronics, for example, it's often confusing how the electronics relate to the performance and things like that. So, I think this is an opportunity to show as an introduction people can walk through and actually interact with motion sensors, touch things, change the way that the sound is behaving, um, affect the different parameters of the electronics in a very integrated and dynamic, visceral way. And so um, I feel like that gives them a little bit of a background on, on how to appreciate the relationship between a live performer and how the electronics are interacting with the, with the composition. So the inspiration really is to provide a, a venue for people to come firsthand and see a, a variety of really diverse kinds of approaches.
Thank you.